Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice system of equations? We have x plus y equals 6 and xy equals 36. We have two systems of equations. Call this one equation 1 and uh, this one is equation 2. So we must provide the value of x and y that make it equal 6 and that makes it the product of it equals 36. So let's solve this with these amazing tricks. Let's say we recall from identity of x minus y raised to the power of 2. This is given as x plus y raised to the power of 2 minus 4xy. These two sides are equal. Then what I will do is, if I write this as x minus y, raised to the power of 2, this equals x plus y has been given to be 6 raised to the power of 2 minus 4 multiplied by xy is 36. Though we still have another beautiful method of solving this, but this is the simplest one of all. This is the most simplest out of all the uh, method of solving this. Then we have this equals 6 squared is 6 multiplied by 6 and that gives us 36 minus 4 multiplied by 36 and the whole of this equals x minus y raised to the power of 2. Suppose from here if I take out 36 in the parentheses we have 1 minus 4 because I will divide this one by 36, we have 1. I will divide this one by 36, we have 4. So this equals x minus y raised to the power of 2. And next, we have x minus y raised to the power of 2 equals 36 multiplied by 1 minus 4. That gives us minus 3. And let's take the square root of both sides. By squaring both sides, we have x minus y equals, this side becomes plus or minus, then the square root of 36 multiplied by minus 3. We have to separate this out. As we have x minus y equals, plus or minus so square root of 36 only it gives us 6 multiply by here there is square root of minus 1 that is i we have 6 multiplied by i then we leave it in a short form which is square root of 3 so after getting this we have x minus y already to be plus or minus 6i root 3 and let's recall from the first equation which says x plus y equals 6. We have two new equations now. x minus y equals this and x plus y equals 6. If I solve this one using elimination method by ruling a line like this, then if you add this together, this cancels, and we have x plus y. x plus x, it gives us 2x. Then we add this together as well which gives 6 plus or minus 6i root 3. And by dividing both sides by 2, we have to cancel 2. Therefore, our x equals 2 in 6, that is 3, plus or minus, and 2 in 6 as well, that is 3i root 3. Here are the values of x as x equals 3 plus or minus 3i root 3. And to get the value of y, we are going to consider any of these two equations. Suppose I consider this equation 2. By recalling from that equation, x plus y equals 6. Then to get y, we transfer x to other sides, as we have y equals 6 minus x. Let's replace this x with 3 plus or minus 
3 plus or minus 3i root 3. So after replacing this, we are going to open this parenthesis with negative. Here we have minus 3 and minus times this plus. That is minus, then plus or minus. So here is 3i root 3. If minus times my plus, that is minus. And minus times minus, that is plus. Then we have y equals 6 minus 3. And 6 minus 3, it gives us 3. Then minus plus 3i root 3. So this is the value of y. And we have to try and pair this in a coordinate form. The first x comma y, we see this is in alternate form. It shows that when x is 3 plus 3i root 3, y will be 3 minus 3i root 3. And again, if we have another x comma y, if x is 3 minus 3i root 3, then y will be 3 plus 3i root 3. So here are the two answers that we got. But if you want to verify if any of these equals, it satisfies the given equation. What we do is, if I recall from equation 1, which is x plus y equals 6. So by testing for the first one, if x is given as 3 plus 3i root 3, then we add it with y. So y will be 3 minus 3i root 3. So we want to show that everything equals 6. And by this, this 3i root 3 cancelled minus 3i root 3. And we have 3 plus 3. So 3 plus 3, it gives us 6. That is 6 equals 6. And similarly, when we check for the, uh, the other one, we are going to get the same answer. That is for the addition. And if we still check for multiplications as if you have x, y equals 36. Multiplying this together, we have 3 plus 3i root 3 in bracket multiplied by 3 minus 3i root 3. So I want to show that this equals 36. But one thing I will let you know is this is in difference of 2 squared. Here is plus here is minus. It means we are just multiplying the first number with the first number and the last number with the last number. And note that i squared here, it gives us minus 1. So we multiply 3 by 3, that gives us 9. Then 3 times 3 as well, we have it as 9. Then plus times minus, that is minus. i times i, we have it as i squared. The i squared, which is minus 1, plus this minus we have, that gives us plus. Then 3 times 3 here, that is 9 multiplied by root 3 times root 3, that gives us 3. Then the whole of this process is 9 times 3 is 27, and 27 plus 9, that gives us 36. So this is how we got this problem. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.